Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Out. It's Sunday night, which means it's trad beer night. And the beer we're going for today is this one. It is Off The Hook IPA from Hook Norton Brewery Co. And funnily enough, it is an IPA and it says it's full on refreshment. Uh, to look at it, it says it's pale. Uh, the smell is citrus fruit and the taste is orange and citrus. Well, orange is citrus. I like that. I, I do. And anyway, it's 4.3% ABV. And uh, it says it is a strong combination of citrus and orange notes, delivering a full-on refreshing beer. Well, citrus is orange. Or, well, orange is cit a citrus fruit. So, uh, so yeah. So, looks pale, as we say. The smell is citrus. The taste is orange and citrus. And, uh, yeah. Doesn't really tell you much more than that. Other, and I can tell you, this is the first beer that I've had from Hook Norton. Uh, so, yeah. Let's hope it's a good one. Let's get it out and into a glass and see what we think. So we are pouring into my Titanic glass, and the pour is pale. It's not lying on that front. Let's see if we can encourage a little head. There we are. So we have a golden coloured beer, which, you know, it's not it's not a bad thing. It's a, a slightly off-white head that's relatively tight and compact. That should be up close in the glass. Crystal clear. A little bit paler than I was expecting for an IPA, but uh, there we go. Anyway, looks all right, though. Let's have a whiff. I am getting that marmalade type thing. I'm getting a nice, pleasant malt profile. I'm getting some hops, some good hops. They, they are, I'm getting Challenger. That, that, it's got that kind of old school vibe going on. There's a slight spiciness to it as well. So, uh, so yeah, it looks all right. It smells all right. What does it taste like? Let's find out, cheers. Lovely body. It is indeed a lovely body. It is medium to, to medium heavy. Super silky smooth. And the flavours. Very well balanced. Let's get that right off the bat. Malts are there. Hops are there. You've got a lovely level of bitterness. And there is that that grapefruit thing coming through, which is really quite nice. It's got an old school traditional flavour with a modern twist, is what I'm getting from this one. I'm getting, like I said, a marmalade type orange thing, a slightly bitter orange, and uh, almost like a West Coast IPA. I'm getting beautiful malt in the background, fairly sweet, but not under not underdone, it's well represented in the flavour profile. It's, there's more orange coming through. The more you sip it, and the more it develops on the tongue, the more the orange comes out. That's really quite nice. Just the right level of bitterness going on for a nice IPA of the trad style. Plenty of hop representation. That's really, really, actually, really quite nice. It tastes a lot stronger than the 4.3% as well, which is quite nice as well. I like I like my IPAs to have a little bit of punch to them. And even at the lower weight that like this one is, the flavour belies it. And the finish is really quite clever. It's, it's, like I say, the more you the more let it develop, the more the sweet citrus comes out and the malts just sort of sit behind it constantly there just bringing a little bit of something and then that bitterness is just kind of behind all of it just kind of pushing it forward and letting it really really dance nicely over your tongue i like that mm. a great first impression so cook norton brewery co I do like that old school looking label. You've got the uh, the wheat sheaf 
just sitting there in the middle of the label. And, and if you look very carefully, you can see the 4.3% uh, represented there. I like it. I like I like a bit of old school. And, uh, and that does it quite well. So yeah, independent family brewers. Serve lightly chilled. Well, I have served it uh, fresh from the fridge, which is how I like my IPAs. Nicely cold. But what does the world of untapped think of it? So, to the Aid Memoir, which says there has been a nice round thousand check-ins. Give or take a smidge. And an average of 3.34. I think that's a little bit underrepresented, if I'm honest, both on the check-ins and the score. My current scoreboard of joy for OTH off the hook is empty. Let's, fit, let's give it some points, shall we? So from the appearance, it's a good looking beer, could be darker. I like my IPAs of the trad style to be darker, a little bit deeper, and they just give that impression of more flavour the darker they are. Head's the right colour. Obviously at the moment there's not much of it left, but it's a good looking beer. Could do it to me just a touch darker. I'm going to give it 0.75 off the bat. The aroma is really quite nice. It's balanced. You've got malts coming through. You've got the citrus flavours from the hops just kind of dancing. There's almost something biscuity coming through as well. Yeah, it's balanced is what it is. It's really quite nice. It's medium strength on the nose, balanced citrus, malts. What's not to like? It gets a full point. The body is superb. Let's get that straight right now. It's medium heavy. You've got super silky smooth sort of mouthfeel and the carbonation is, is spot on as well. I can't fault it. I'll give it the full point there. The taste is where it matters. And of course, you saw in the video, you've watched it. I like it. I like the balance of malts and hops. I like the bitterness. I like the orange that develops really quite cleverly from a ma bitter marmalade, like a Seville kind of orange, real bitter pithy almost, into sweetness as it develops on the tongue. That I like. That's different. I've not had that in an IPA before. like it a lot. Is it perfect? I think it might well be. For a trad style IPA with all that flavour at low ABV, it's really rather good. It's getting the full point. And the finish. I look for hops, longevity and bitterness. And, and if, if it's the right type of IPA, I look for that kind of resin as well. This is trad. I'm just looking for the hops, the bitterness and the longevity. And it delivers on all three. You've got beautiful hops that are well represented throughout from start to finish. You've got bitterness that's kind of grapefruity. I like it. And of course, it's nice and long. And the longer you leave it, the sweeter it gets. I like it a lot. It's getting that which means off the hook from hook norton brewery has got 4.75 out of 5 from me on my untapped scoreboard of joy a great first impression i must say so yeah i shall be ordering some more i, I got this one in uh, morrison's of all places on the or was it four for six quid something like that i shall explore the brewery website later see what else they do and get a few more in to try so yeah if you've not tried it before definitely give it a bash because it's really tasty and a very sensible price for the boot. On that note, I'm going to say, that's been the beer. I've been Nick. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I will see you again soon for another video.